It's your boy Zappa, professional stage ninja, and welcome to Plug Plaw. I normally don't do an unboxing, but this ain't your standard high grade. So I'm going to peel into this boy and see what's actually inside this high grade Mazinger Z Infinity version. So let's ignore how much I actually paid for this because you buy it in a store, you pay some markup. I don't know. At $42 is a fair price, an unfair price, it's whatever. Shout out to your folks at Blue Fin for, you know, Gunpla, US, blah, blah, blah. I know a guy that works out in Blue Fin, so what's up, Phil? In this box, got some shiny silver runners here. That's one, two, three. Four, five, six, six runners, and then a runner for a stand. And if you look at that, you got a action base four and a bunch of extra clear parts that look like they come with the action base five. Like this, this is an action base five runner, right? Does it say? Nope, that's action base four. I'm a stupid. It's just you know, black base, clear parts, which is going to be important later. And then you get, you know, assembly instructions in case you're totally new to this. And a manual. Ah, oh, it's in the form of a book. Uh, how many pages do we have here? Uh, 15, I guess 16 pages, depending on your semantics. Uh, down here, you're going to, it's going to, bleh. Parts to hold up stuff for rocket punch, and that's why. Ooh, ooh fine. Get your jet strander going so you can use your Southern Cross knives. I like it already. So, we have everything on bag. Is your A runner here? Looks like some chess piece. You've got some details that are part of, part of the Screndizer itself. Uh, clear parts for probably the head. Clear parts for breast fire and rocket punch. Oh, before I go too far, any unused I there are no unused parts here because they're supposed to be a great Mazinger kit as well. The only unused parts belong to the stand. That's your A runner. You get B1 and B2. This looks like a lot of parts for the arms, likely some of the legs. It's a really nice shade of purple. For a moment it almost looked like it could have been clear, but it's, even though we know the Mazinger is black, it's just, you gotta have that little bit of color in there. And this is a really, really nice purple, looks like it's just, just, look at all the details in the arm, look, look at all that, look at all that, yeah. Get your C1, C2, and silver here, also some more chess pieces, parts for the iron cutter, duplicate of course for the arms. D are our only black parts, which are for what are probably shoulders or joints. We'll find out when it's built. Uh, I skipped E just by chance. The F runner, you got F1 and F2. Looks like a lot of your joint and internal workings in this uh, grit. It's really like, I guess a brownish gray. It's, it's one of those weird shades of gray. I mean, the light makes it look a lot lighter than it actually is here in person. But that's a lot of your internal workings. And then your E-runners, which are for a chest piece and your scrandizer. That is the backpack. And then one tiny little sheet of color apps here. Uh, looks like just maybe some minor details on probably the lighter parts or maybe even the head. I'll find out when that's done. So stick around because after this, we're going to transition to the build. Or not a build, sorry, but the review. So stick around because in just a second, we will fast forward to the review. I'm not bothering with the speed build. It might take me days or weeks to build this. I've got other stuff to do. See you in a bit. And here we are, with a fully built Mazinger Z. Now, before we can even get this thing started, we of course have to 
hit that pile there on. The pile there has its own little set of parts, silver parts, clear parts, and well, yeah, about that. Fortunately, I'm sure no more than a photo or two will the pile there be spent out of its position in the head. So there we go. Before, well, not before, I suppose. Let's first talk about some bad English on the manual here. The manual covers all of its moves. Uh, iron cutter, which can also be used with the rocket punch. You drew missiles. The jet scrander on its back. The famous breast fire. And... Whereas everything is an item or an attack, this is just called a Pilder. Pilder on is the thing that Koji says once he plugs in. I'm not quite sure why this is written here without quotation marks. It's, it's one way or the other, either Pilder on or just Pilder. Maybe Jet Pilder if you want to be still wrong but more right. I just think it's a weird way to print that. That's me. Now, we'll talk about articulation here. The breast fire, as cool as these effect, well, not effect parts, these chest pieces are, they properly block. Why are you stuck? Why are you so stiff? Well, there you go. They properly block some of the articulation here. Now, you do get plenty of movement, but. Like, even from a flat, the shoulders only go so high without having to be rotated. And then you have to rotate around. Now, you get... Point number two, of course, is... While you do get some really good range, that... Let's see if you can see in there. That ball and socket... Hold on, let's see if I can get some better light on this side. Yes and no. That ball and socket is just that and it's so exposed a little too much force will pop it right out now of course just as much easy force pops it right back in it's still kind of a down you get second point of complaint is because of accessories that elbow joint isn't very deep. As I was trying to say, we'll use this arm over here, is you get a slight, oh, let me, let me turn this, turn this correct. You get a slight bend here, but as you look at this armor panel here, you get more bend. Now, the curious thing is because of the design nature of the kit, you get this full swivel here at the bicep, but then you get more swivel right at the elbow. It can make for some rather awkward, like, positioning. That's super weird. The fists, all four of them, are simple ball joints, which have their own hinge on them. So you get movement and then a little bit more you get two other fists and they're all right hands you get an alternate punch fist and then you get this kind of like more open i guess expressive hand and then you get your flat kind of judo chop boy as for articulation at the waist you get a little bit of turn here and there before the torso blocks up against this torso piece these side skirts, really, I mean, while they're on simple balls, they don't really move, but nor do they need to. Now, the interesting thing here is going to be about these legs. You see with the legs, there's an attached army piece right here at the leg itself. Kind of blocks that forward motion. 
but because of the design nature of the waist, you can pull the legs down. And with that, that allows you to get the more dynamic posing, you know, good looking stuff. And at the same time, that also allows like a full kick to the back, full kick to the back, a pretty far kick to the front. Now at the knee, unfortunately the knee does not do what the elbow do. And they had a great opportunity with this panel here to get a full double bend. But no. And then your foot, standard ball, gets some swivel and swagging up. Swivel and sw swavel? Why am I trying to say that like it's a word? There you go. The head gets a lot of down motion because it's kind of double it's the regular ball and socket but even this has more of a joint to it if you're not mindful of your pile there you might knock your pile there out uh, you get a really far lean back so your boy can see while he's flying unimpeded 360 turn and some head some head banging Back here on the jet powder, or jet scrander, excuse me. The wings themselves are articulated just a little bit. And on here are the only color apps that are on the entire kit, which are here on the center fin and on the boosters. This kit uses every single piece except for some excess pieces on the stand runner it's just another action base five uh, with clear with a black base as you can see here with one special piece exclusively well rather two but one clear piece exclusively for flight so we're gonna pull our board aside pose his arms up because I have to gently get them around the breastplate and even though his hands look really derpy right now you will line up this yellow piece right here and the crotch goes here bam your boy is in position it kind of lines up just right but as has been my experience unless I'm doing something utterly and completely wrong it doesn't snap in it just rests and by nature, its legs are heavier than the rest of it for some reason, even with the scrander on. And it just... You have to be incredibly, incredibly careful. Uh, you would have to really put this on like a childproof shelf or make sure that the waist is lined up. That was my problem this time. So there we go. Nice and stable. Now, the problem I was having with earlier, let's test this right quickly, because right now it is at a flat, at an angle. Wow, that is, that is better than what I was thinking. That's a significant improvement when you put the pieces on correctly. I noticed earlier on in a recording that didn't actually record I had this piece upside down that's it, that's very critical and I'm sure Mazinger is very mad at me you get with this kit as well probably saw it already two effect pieces for your uh, rocket punch I'm just gonna double them up here which doesn't actually work that's silly of me the, there is a particular adapter that you can use just so you can have a rocket punch on display. What we will do here is we're going to disconnect the arm. And before anything else, we're going to plug this hand into a rocket punch. Now you can see that's not right because, well, I'm using the flat hand. But with good reason, because I will also show you 
the other feature on the arms which is the iron cutter you get two sets of these you gonna focus camera please thank you they will plug into the arms at the side here you get two sets so you have one for each arm and to apply them you're going to go ahead and pull this other fist off is there are two panels two panels right here on the sides you can pull them off they have little marks in there for you two sets so you can just shift them right on over expose that plug and have as many iron cutters as your heart desires secondarily you have hey come on then. these two pieces here these are the accessories for your drill missile they will as I had complained earlier about the peg falling just right off they plug right in here onto the arm and from there you will plug your fist right back in to the elbow now like that it looks like you're getting blocked I want to turn the fist because that bothers me but you simply finish the bend or not again that is a minor issue and it's certainly one of the major cons here because the, the joints are rather strong but at the same time that makes them very picky so you need to get the rest of that bend in there and there you go drill missile for the other arm we're going to go ahead and apply one of the two closing caps which looks exactly like the dr drill missile but this is simply designed just to not leave an exposed peg when you display your rocket punch on the stand. And of course the last bit that it comes with is this adapter here. It is a U-hook adapter that specifically fits our friend Koji Kabuto and his Mazinger right in there. Very secure fit. Never know it's there. You'll never see it coming. How topical. Well, topical as of this recording. So. And this, this is an extra piece that plugs into the backpack. Excuse me, the Jet Scrander. Which, to go into just a bit. Let's see if I can pop this off right here. For show. This is your backpack bit here. This stray piece will fit into that this slot right here if you don't want the scrander on. And the scrander wraps around like a belt. From here, it's one piece here, one piece here, plugs into this ABC plastic back here, and it's secured in place if you put this on right. Naturally, and I'm just going to show you what I do wrong, is because of the shape of it, you would think to fit it in like that, but then it just comes out so easily that it was becoming it was frustrating and not sitting right in the stand. Point down, point down. And that'll get your boy in place. Pop this scrander right back on here. So overall, I completely approve of this kit. I adore that Bandai is going in and producing high grades of other models you know we've got the pacific rim line we've got the line of uh full metal panic kits and now we've got both mazinger z and great mazinger from the mazinger infinity movie which uh i will put a link up in the the zone here to me and the rest of colony drop cosplay talking about having get to see it in theaters wonderful time but again good job love the kit uh it's do it does have the problems with the pegs in the arm and the shoulder if you're not mindful or if you're a little rough when you're posing it otherwise everything sticks into place wonderfully like his head doesn't even wobble and it his head is easy to move um the 
during construction, ooh, uh, there are some tiny parts in there that me and my rough and shaky hands, that's exaggeration, me and my rough hands are kind of worried about breaking something because I've broken so many small parts as we've seen in the past. So I would say be mindful of those. There could be a little more articulation in the knee, but I hope that Bandai will pick up another line of classic mecha kits. I'm personally pushing for Zabongo, one of Tobino's other works, or frankly anything, like just anything new, a new set. But there's so many super robots and not enough real robots that I love that a new high-grade set is going to kind of be hard to come by until a new real robot show comes along. That's going to be the end of this review. And as always, Sig Zion.